Hello, global citizens. Today, sunny Almaty, Kazakhstan, we are going to Badaholka Bazaar and check that out. Follow us along. to Badaholka Bazaar. We got Sultana and Ainur in the back there. We're going to have a good adventure today. They're gonna show us, or gonna show me the bazaar. It's my first time there. And apparently it's uh, three kilometers of just people selling stuff. From car parts to whatever you can think of, they have everything there. So, so here we have our driver for the day is Barat. So Barat was also explaining that his son um, is getting married. There's going to be 400 people, even probably even more than that, and they're going to be having a big party. When is the uh, wedding? His son's wedding. Uh, oh, so it's in July. His son's wedding. A lot of people are going to be there. He's uh, obviously a proud father. His son's getting married, and. Uh, yeah, so congratulations to Barat and his son for, for that. That's going to be awesome. Hello, Ahmed Barat. Nice to meet you, my friend. That's Vidania. Here we go. We have arrived to Badaholka. Anur, Sultana. People selling stuff from their cars, the trunks. Here we go, people. We're going in here. So the bazaar is here. And we have beautiful mountains right in the back there. What a gorgeous city. All kinds of stuff happening here. People selling everything. We have a bazaar over here. Old cars. Fresh juice. They have like a long place where you walk like this and then on the sides you can go inside. Here we have all kinds of stuff, actually stuff that I would need, camera stuff. So we're walking through this uh, incredible bazaar. Outside you have like a, a, you know, a long place where you can walk. Now we're inside. There's also side alleyways. This place is massive. Right now we're in like a clothing section, wedding dresses, natural foods and vitamins. So in here they even have a flower sections back here. It's like a little botanical garden. Um, men's suits, wedding dresses. Uh, we were just in the Muslim section and that's why there was a lot of Muslim stores, natural vitamin stores, natural oils, um, Muslim clothing, stuff like here. Some Central Asian, traditional Central Asian stuff in here. It's nice. Some more Central Asian costumes, traditional. Central Asian traditional hats here. Now we're back outside. Views of the mountains that just stretch all around you. Now we're walking to another side of a bazaar. There's traffic on the left side. The highway on the left side. And the bazaar on the right. I think they're building more bazaar. Old fresh juice machines, old press machines. Looks like orange juice here. All kinds of juice this guy's got. Donair places, places to eat. Who needs cashmere when you have goat fur, huh? Look at this stuff. She's not playing around. Look how warm these socks must be. Made in Mongolia. Not playing around. There we go. Now we're in another part. We just walked about 500 meters or so. 
and we're looking for the gold and silver section where they sell gold and silver from all over the world and it's probably cheaper here obviously than it would be in Canada or uh, those Western countries now we just entered inside this place there's coats there's stuff suits for men escalators women sitting here upstairs this place is massive I mean it's like three four kilometers of just markets different things people are selling different sections golden house look at that gold gold jewelry wow fruits look at these beautiful Kazakh traditional rings and stuff Sultan is trying on a tradition, one of these traditional earrings. And these ancient bracelets. These bracelets are beautiful. They have like a bracelet with a nice stone in the middle. Gorgeous. They're nice. Real silver Kazakh style earrings. Handcrafted. Green stones. What is it? Malahit. Malahit stone. So we're gonna cross this thing, this overpass to the other side of the big street, the big highway. And even inside this overpass, people are selling stuff on the sides. It's incredible. There's not one empty space in this whole three, four kilometers of bazaar that is not being used to sell something. Look, it's full. Here we go, we're going into another bazaar on the other side of the street. Look what we have here. More clothing. We got some Gucci belts. So I'm just here checking out some pants here. These are like uh, 3,500 tenge, which is probably about $10 US. So it's very affordable. It's not bad actually you can see like not bad you got some nike i mean it for sure is probably not real but you know what for 10 bucks you can't complain all kinds of colors good stuff the guys are nice selling socks too i think i is interested in this pair right here she's negotiating because in these markets it's very negotiable you can negotiate and yeah this is the real market of central asia guys no joke some adidas hoodies ten thousand basically like thirty dollars canadian not bad not bad we're out here guys we're really in the markets of central asia you can feel the energy. It's a hustle and bustle. There's thousands, probably thousands of people in here just hustling, selling different things. The prices are great. The quality is cheaper, but the prices are great. People are nice. They're actually not that bad. They don't hassle you that much here. I was expecting more of like, they would bug you more, but they don't bug you that much here. Thinking about getting one of these bags here because I do need a bag. I knew it was closing the door on me. <laughs> so, all right, more bags. Handbags, small bags, purses, all kinds of stuff in here. Nice backpacks, how much? 15. Uh huh. As you can see, all these are like containers, 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 shipping containers. 
and people are just selling out of these shipping containers. It's like, you know, a small, maybe like, I don't know, like a quarter of a shipping container or less, and people are just selling. There are thousands of these things. The Kazakh traditional instrument, the dombra. Selling all kinds of dombras here. That is interesting. People just walking through these alleyway things that ask fits you. All right. Bags, more bags. We just, if we could find, oh, look at that TikTok symbol. If we could find a nice bag so I can carry my laptop safely, has some good padding, that's what we're looking for. Just got this bag. Hope this bag lasts me for a while. So come to the, what's it called again? Boya Horkin? Barahulka. Come to Barahulka Bazaar. If you're in Almaty, Kazakhstan, it's huge and they have a lot of stuff. So. What's the price? The price was 6,000 tenge. So I think it's about $20 Canadian. Now we are in the shoe section. Outside on the street, next to the buses and highway. They are just selling shoes and slippers and baby shoes. All kinds of stuff going on here. Right outside of the big bazaar where we just bought the bag. Pretty cool shoes, they're like Nike Roches. Look at the nuts and dried fruits out here. So we're having a lovely day out here at the bazaar. The sun is just shining. Look how big that thing is, it's huge. It's only about 10 degrees or something, but it's it's very warm because the sun is beating down on us. And I think we're gonna look for some ice cream. I think we're done shopping for material things. Oh, look at this, eh? Nice stuff everywhere. Beautiful people selling stuff. Everybody's trying to make a living here. We're in this little place here looking at a menu, seeing what they got. There's nothing in English, but it's basically legman, kvass, and things like this. Oh, there's even more stuff on this side. So yeah, so this is where we're at. We're in here. We just got our uh, compote, our naan. Food is here. Oh, legman. Okay guys, we're in the taxi, we're going back. Just left the bazaar, got some stuff, we ate some food, feel good. And it's time to go, get on with our day, that's it.